Okay, once you are signed into your Adalo account, you are going to create a new app and we are going to be making a desktop web app from a blank template. And I'm just going to be using the out of the box primary and secondary colors, but feel free to change it to whatever matches your brand or vision and hit create. So Adalo is pretty great. They already give you some out of the box um, screens to work with. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on the design aspect, but I will do just a little bit to give you an idea of what it could look like and focus more on functionality. So on the welcome screen, I'm just going to replace app name with my company and I'm going to add a tagline. I'm just going to style it to center it on the page and I'm going to add two buttons. One is going to be a sign up button. I'm going to remove this icon and I want this to link to the sign up page. And I'm going to create one more button, which will be for logging in. And on press, I want it to link to the login page. And I'm going to make this an outline button. Now we are going to just replace the name on the login and sign up pages and then head over to our home screen where I'm going to build out um, the main interface for users for this app. So I'm going to click on this app bar and starting from left to right, I am going to look for a settings like icon which will eventually take people to an account page where they can edit their user information. And then for the title, I'm going to just call this my app name. And the right icon, I'm going to replace with um, like an exit symbol. Eventually, I want users' profile pictures to populate here. So I'm going to add an image component and I'm gonna style it to make it round, rounder. <laughs> Eh, close enough. Eh, no, that's not very good. You get the point. <laughs> so for the heading, I'm going to keep it simple and do something like add a link, make it a little bit bigger and center it. Eventually I want users to come here and put in a URL title and then a URL. So I'm going to add in a form and then I'm going to add in a custom list because once people add a URL, I want them to be able to see all the URLs that are live on their public facing profile page. So um, I'm going to leave this as is for now and then come back to it later. And then I'm going to add second screen, which will be the profile page. And this will be the public facing profile page and I want an image. Again, I want it to be round, so I'm gonna style it and resize. And I want eventually for the user's social handle to show up and then add a custom list, which will essentially be published um, versions of the last page. So it will have all the visible links that I've added. And I want there to be essentially like buttons here that represent a link. So I'm going to grab a button and put it here. And then I'm gonna go back to the components page and I'm gonna drag it into the list component to make it apply to all of these. And I do not want the title or the subtitle. So I'm just gonna delete them. And I don't want the rectangle. So I'm gonna delete that as well. I'm just gonna get rid of the icon on the button. And then we are going to add one more screen, which will be an account page where users can update their information. And I'm gonna leave this as is for now. So we have the basic layout of our app and now we need to set up the database. So we'll do that in the next part. Mm -hmm.